<laughs> I'm laughing so I don't cry. What's up guys, welcome back to The Glove Drop. I know in these last few videos I've been really frustrated, shown my emotion, really angry. So I'm gonna try and do the healthy thing and repress all of that and try and put a little bit more positivity into this video, right? Manifesting, that's what people are doing on TikTok, right? We'll see how it goes. Yesterday, the New York Rangers lose the moral game to the Seattle Kraken. Did they win the game? Yep. Did they get that moral victory? Absolutely not. Post game, Coach Gallant, straight up, they played awful. The Seattle Kraken play this game where they like to plug up the lane and make it really difficult to get shots off on the forecheck, which we saw. There was nine shots after two periods, what? What? When the Rangers are pushing into their zone, they're clogging up the lane and they're putting three players right in front, making it nearly impossible for anybody on any team to get a shot on goal. They might try, but it ain't gonna happen. If a team picks up on this, well, if you have a good East-West game, you're Golden Richards, you are good to go. Too bad the Rangers don't have a solid East-West game at this point. Still, somehow the New York Rangers managed to get a two-goal lead. Because Banajed starts it off on a power play goal, love to see it. He's gotten points in 15 out of the last 20 games, as well as a goal in the last 10 out of 20 games. We also have Alexi Lafreniere, thank goodness, coming in and scoring. Rangers are up. 2-0. Here we go again with a really great start and then everything just falls to shit. But in the light of staying positive, again, we've got Alexi Lafreniere who's been basically useless for the last nine games, kind of. He's getting that second goal, the Rangers are up. 2-0 over the Seattle Kraken who, like I said yesterday, are terrible. Like clockwork, the Rangers leave and we have to watch them struggle. Not even struggle. They're not struggling to keep up. They're just not playing hard. The effort isn't there. Thank goodness. Keandre Miller, another guy who's been pretty quiet lately, with 33 seconds left, gets a goal and gives the Rangers the 3-2 win. That was not a win in my book. Positive things, positive thinking. Igor Shosturkin, fallen, killing it. Nothing wrong with him. He's fantastic. And then we have Keandre Miller and Alexi Lafreniere both getting some goals in, getting their confidence up, getting some motivation behind them. And Mika Zibanejad is still performing. Those are three good things that happened. Bad things that happened. No effort. Zero East-West play. It just seemed like the pairs on the D-line were shot. There's a lot of confusion going on there. When I say bad East-West play, it's not just up on the forecheck. It's not when we're in their zone. It's also back on our blue line. So those things need to be handled. Shosturkin during the post game said something that really, well, he said it in Russian. They translated from Russian and it really kind of resonated with me is that we're playing Brazilian style, meaning they're getting as many goals as they can and we're scoring as many goals as we want. And the effort of play is showing that we really didn't want to score that many goals. So that needs to change. The ability to score from the New York Rangers is through the roof. And now it's just time to do it. They walk away with two points. I'm sure they're getting ripped apart by Galant and the rest of the coaching staff and me, but today we're being nice. Tomorrow, tomorrow is my birthday. We're playing the Florida Panthers. The New York Rangers better show up to this game ready to play because the Florida Panthers, in my opinion, are the best team in the league. Not Colorado, it's Florida right now. So tomorrow, February 1st, New York Rangers, Florida Panthers. They have shit the bed the last three games and it's time to change the sheets and start over. I will have another video up after tomorrow's game. <sighs> Hopefully we can kick off 32 on a high note. Manifesting. We're gonna kick 32 off on a positive note. So thank you guys all for coming through. If you have just come across this, I hope you hit subscribe, hit like, put down in the comments some ideas for videos you wanna see during the all-star break, which thank God is coming up because we and everybody else in this league need it. And if you want some more, go check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Uh, TikTok is the funniest one for sure. I'll see you guys all in the next one. And until then, change the sheets, Rangers, come on.